welcome to part two of the Game Club, where we speak of the topic of the week. And the topic of this week is Ludo narrative dissonance. And for those of you who aren't familiar with this term, uh. it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> na, na, na. <laughs> <laughs> it was coined by Master Quality P. Voice. No, it was coined to describe when a video game has a story that presents a character or something in the story a certain way, but the gameplay completely defeats that point. And uh, two examples from recent games, Watch Dogs 2 being a big one. Watch Dogs 2, the whole point of the game, the basis of the game, is the main character gets upset because he gets profiled as a criminal and he's not a criminal. Mm -hmm. And what do you do for the rest of the game to prove you're not a criminal? Commit crimes. That's what you do the entire game, including up to murdering people. Because you're not a criminal. Because you're not a criminal. That'll show him. Right, that'll show him. Or... uh, (laughs) Mafia 3. In Mafia 3, uh, I don't want to give away any sto- uh, story spoilers, but somebody dies in Mafia 3 early on in the game, and that's what spurns on the main character. And what does he do to uh, react against violence done to his people? Well, he kills a lot of other people, including he just got back from what, Jose? Vietnam War. <laughs> right, so he's upset about people he loves getting killed after he just came back from a country where we were killing people. But that's kind of consistent. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times yeah. violence begets violence. But that's still like ludonarrative dissonance. Like the uh. like the whole thing is supposed to be um, the... <laughs> The whole thing, yeah. You can actually see this in like movie and film too. Like for example, a, a recent one we discussed. We didn't use this term at, at that point. Was um, uh, Luke Cage. Mm-hmm. Luke Cage has a lot of really positive things to say about not stereotyping and not stereotyping like the black community. But at the same time, it uses a lot of side characters that perfectly fit the stereotypes it's fighting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a dissonance there between the point it's trying to make and then what it actually presents. Mm-hmm. Well, so we have that in video games um, where. Um, despite the game story, the game play completely defeats that point. And I want to know, uh, what do you guys think about that? Is that a problem? Is that what do you think about that, Jose? Uh, I guess it would be a problem in Watch Dogs too, right? I mean, it's kind of ironic that he gets pissed off that they're labeling labeling him a certain way, and then he uh, goes ahead and fulfills that prophecy, anyways. And it's not ironically; it's not a parody. It's uh-huh. at any time. There's a cut scene. He's this innocent, I'm not a criminal guy. But then mm-hmm. once the power is put into your hands, all you do is run around the city committing crimes and killing people. <laughs> and hacking the city. Right. As, as well, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think that's kind of uh, – somebody dropped the ball on that, I think, right. uh, story-wise. I, and uh, for Mafia 3, I think that um, – I don't, I don't think that's a big issue uh, just because I think, I mean, it kind of fits the, uh, the story behind the character, right? I mean, he's a Vietnam vet. He's – probably dealt with a lot of uh death around him and murdering and killing or whatever um and then he comes home and this is his natural reaction is to react in this way uh to kill people so i don't think it's a big issue so at least jose in that does way. not think it's a big issue if you to kill, kill people, people or to act in that way <laughs> well i mean if you're yes if that's all you knew he's like for a long time he's like, for a couple of guys years in come Vietnam, on i mean yeah, I don't think it's an issue. Yeah, like begets like is what you're saying. Jose's yeah, over here so. like, what's the big deal? He <laughs> murdered a few folks. Well, I mean, yeah, obviously that's <laughs> That's like not a Saturday right. for Jose. We've all killed a few people. Come on. Well, I mean, obviously it's it's incorrect to do that, right? But, I mean, if it's the character, there, I don't see a dissonance yeah. there. Uh, well, one that gets brought up that. is Uncharted. And we recently played I was actually thinking, about, I was thinking about that. That in Uncharted, Nathan Drake comes off as this really charming, innocent guy who uh, is always like he's in over his head, like, oh, my gosh, all these things are coming at me. All these bad people are shooting at me. But then you go into the gameplay mode and you're just mowing down folks. You are a one man <laughs> terminator. Yeah, you're killing exactly. 25, 30 people per spawn yeah. point. That guy is like you're never in over your head. They have no idea what they're dealing with. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you even trick and lie and deceive people. Then you just like kiss your girlfriend three. at the end and go home. <laughs> Everything's okay. This guy has no post-traumatic stress disorder. Like, yeah. He has no problem sleeping at night, like yeah. murdering hundreds hey. and affecting hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. Yeah. That many people to because he's so focused on the puzzle though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder though if this like house is... with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm curious if dissonance is unavoidable at some level though, because humans in and of themselves are kind of walking contradictions, right? This and that is was more the example specific, I was use. This is more specific to games. Yeah, well, and that's, so what, like, and that's what I mean. Even in the development of the characters of the game, but I mean right? in games versus the gameplay. So, like, I think Dishonored Two has this going on a little bit. 
because Corvo is this crazy assassin, but the game punishes you for killing people. Right. Exactly. Mm. That's where it's almost the opposite, right? Yeah. It's this. They give you all the tools to be this crazy stealth assassin, but then if you use stop them, it, yeah, you get <laughs> punished. How do they punish you though? Well, with the gameplay and and you get the worst darker ending. Oh. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Uh, I but think do they give you more people to kill them. Yeah. Sweet. There you go. <laughs> they feed the beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, for me, like, what it makes me wonder is whether, in some ways, we haven't really matured as a medium. Like, uh, games have come a million miles in a million ways. Like, they've so much has advanced. There's so much good that video games can give. But have we forgotten to sort of mature in realizing, like, what we're putting into the video game? Like character like, development? Like, character development, but also, like, I mean, why is it that in 9 out of 10 games, the mechanic is killing people? Why is it impossible for us to make a pleasurable game that has a story about an innocent person whose gameplay is innocent too? Boring. Well, <laughs> I was going to say, I just really like killing people. Yeah, You're like, talking it's about kind the of, Call of Duty generation and how much well, it's like sell. It's an appeal to all the stuff I can't do in real life. But it goes all the way back to what? Space Invaders, right? Shoot them. Shoot them all. <laughs> like, or Galaga. Pac-Man. Yeah, like Watch Dogs 2. Like the, it, Pong. It, Beat your mom with the paddle. <laughs> like Watch Dogs 2, they could have made it so you you do passive things. Like you hack your way through the whole game. You you do things that inhibit and knock out people, but you never have to pick up a gun and murder a person. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and that would have fit the story they're telling. A person who can um, protest the, he wants to, the way he wants to protest, but do so without under the profile he's been we, given. We have some uh, – Telltale has taken a chance on some games like that. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> – Remember when we? <laughs> I remember playing uh, Wolf Among Us for the first time with you, and we got to that scene where you get to rip the guy's arm off, Tweedle and you're like, Tweedle "Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna rip his arm off." Yeah. Uh, that might have been the only time I swore at the TV. Uh, I was super excited to rip Tweedle arms off. Whatever, I've seen your Halo Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, that guy deserved it though. Rockets. Rocket. Some games have tried to deal with this a little bit. Uh, the game that came to mind when I see my games that have done better by this is, for example. The not the recent Rise of the Tomb Raider, but the one that came before it, the first of the reboot, uh-huh. where in the, the rise beginning, of the reboot, the rise of the reboot. <laughs> um, in well, the beginning, um, uh, Lara Croft uh, isn't a killer; doesn't want to kill people, and you see her slowly shift into that due to context. Mm-hmm. You see her have to. The first thing she kills in the game is not a person, but actually to eat, it's a it's a deer. Yeah, and then she has a heartbreak over that, and then she. Uh, while trying to save her friend, she gets put into a situation where it's very rapey, and she has to protect herself from that. And then, like, they continue to grow her character into somebody who's rising to a context mm-hmm. that's outside of her. Like, there's no other choice for her. And they yeah. do a really, um, they very intelligently lead you into why would she yeah, be yeah, able yeah. to kill people with a bow and arrow or with traps, mm-hmm. or whatever. And and with a few exceptions, most of the time. I mean, you're always there's no like non-lethal option that I can remember in the first Tomb Raider game, but uh, there are non-combative options like making rocks fall down like uh, mm-hmm. a cliff and like kill hit people or yeah, or doing things worse. from a distance. But yeah. Far Cry Four, you can win without killing anyone. Just sit at the dinner table. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Do you know about this? And so Far Cry yeah. Four is this huge open world game, the tons of hours of gameplay, but it begins with a scene. Uh, about five or ten minutes into the game, there's a scene where you're supposed to sit at a table, and you know, obviously, when nobody's around, you get up and you go and you do your thing. Well, like, and the main villain tells you, "Wait here." Yeah, wait here. Goes. But if you just wait there for ten minutes, the game completes. It wins. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> if you just do it, you're told. And it's like the best ending too. <laughs> yeah, it's the best ending. Nice. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. You didn't have to murder literally thousands of people. Yeah. Wouldn't that also be a literal narrative uh, dissonance right there? You're going to play a game, but then you don't do anything. (laughs) (laughs) No, well played. That was good. (laughs) But what about the game, uh, what about the the choice game that we play where you're the high school girl? I know that sounds weird. Uh, um, Life is Strange. (laughs) Yeah, Life is Strange, right? There's not a lot of killing in that one. No, there isn't. You're right. I mean, that's where they... There's not too much dissonance in that. Like, they really try and develop the the game. Yeah, in fact, they, they... In fact, they go... Uh, the distance in exploring the other options because you're inviting that game to retry things mm-hmm. to try to do better by everybody to try to find the best like the whole mechanic of that game is rewinding time repeatedly to figure out how to get the best ending. yeah yeah but I guess that's to your point directly though it's like the fact that we're talking about how games like that are rare 
Yeah. Prove the point. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what's yeah. And, and then and then the irony with that game is all your rewinding ends up re- revealing that you've really helped out the true villain of the you story. Put that girl in the wheelchair. That was the worst. <laughs> well, anymore. that actually that's not even a joke. That that yeah. happens you in a, the you game. Make a girl like quadriplegic. It's really <laughs> sad. And you got to pull the plug and kill her. Wow. Uh, well, I mean, you don't have to, but it's way, it's way <laughs> but cooler. you get to. Yeah, it's, yeah. Way, it's way cooler that way. Yeah, <laughs> it's way cooler. Well, everything. Yeah, I don't know. That's He's an I, awful person. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, but do you think it's always so? This uh, I'm looking at the history here of the term. Yeah. Coined by Clint Hawking in response to Bioshock, ah. which he said promotes the theme of self-interest through its gameplay while promoting selflessness through its narrative hmm. so that's what i was wondering because you got to help atlas that guy the whole time there but the only way to help atlas is to no it's more with the the little sisters if the you little harvest little, oh, them yeah, you yeah. can become more powerful but then you, oh, you get a better saving, ending we've been saving them this whole time yes <laughs> we could be more powerful that's so frustrating See, i don't know if this is a dissonance or it's just uh making the storyteller making a point about sacrifice right snack you know, he's making a sacrifice and doing yeah, the, the That's where I think right some people thing. get out of hand because I just because you have the ability to kill somebody in a game doesn't mean that you should. So, I, I, by by I making so you disagree. <laughs> well, what, what I mean is like you Unless can have a like story about thing. peace and have the possibility of killing in that game because it because by giving the choice you put the onus on the player to play the way you should in the with the story, right? So just because there's the option to kill doesn't mean there's and dissonance. All the, and all the in Tom Clancy games are like that, right? Right, but but it's when the mechanic itself, you have no option, you have to play a certain way, defeats yeah, yeah, the yeah. very point yeah. of the narrative yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and where you are in the narrative. Like that is you a good can, distinction. You can um, most of the time not kill anybody in Watch Dogs too, but you mm-hmm. still are a criminal through and through. And that you're supposedly upset about being called a criminal. Yeah, that's, I mean you're hacking into a you know government system or city system. That's like a major right? plot yeah. hole, right? Yeah. Like we, <laughs> we we would we would crucify a movie if it missed something that big, right? Right, right. Like, like that that obvious. But should we hold them to that same standard though? I, I think mean, so. Video gamers. Oh yeah, I, I mean, mean video game companies. Yeah, I would. Okay. Well, I just think that I mean it's a legit medium. They're making millions of dollars on it. You know, they make money comparable to. That, but even in that, they try and portray a story in the same way. They put the same amount. They probably put even more hours into video games than they do movies. Yeah. I would yeah. imagine. I would just True. like. I would just like to see us. There's not. I am not a prude. I don't mind a game like a Call of Duty where you kill people. But I'd he like to see. Gold. I'd like He's to see hippie. overall. Except for the airport one. Yeah, I like to. See, that's that's a dark scene. <laughs> I forgot about that. I like to see overall the games industry have find more gameplay mechanics that don't require that yeah, you can have yeah. lots of fun playing no, yeah. Yeah, like and LA it's not Noir based on just trying to people. figure out if they're lying that was so much fun yeah or like Hotline Miami not really <laughs> like Hotline Miami That's a good Papers Please people. Papers Please I love Papers Please yeah uh, but even if it's it can still be an action game it just mm-hmm. you don't it doesn't have to be an action game where you have a gun you're shooting people in the face mm-hmm. like imagine if uh, from the beginning Uncharted had been imagined as something where you're you're not a killer like mm-hmm. you're still gonna do all those action scenes. You're still going to maybe even shoot weapons, but maybe they're non-lethal weapons. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's more attraction to <laughs> knocking people. Actually, out. Far Cry has Logan. Right, but Earth. I mean, maybe there are developers that want to kind of go that route, but like maybe Robert they can't Space because Industries? of the companies that they work for won't yeah. let them. Yeah, because yeah, in Uncharted, there isn't there isn't even a, like a choke out option. If you come up behind somebody and you grab somebody, super behind, overkill. Yeah, he he's <laughs> yeah he snaps their neck. Yeah, he goes. <laughs> Like that, and just drop some, right? Or Star nice. Citizen's trying to address some of these away. things. Snap you could be just a space away. trucker. You can be a miner. They built a whole, or they're building a whole mining <laughs> mini game. The only thing that's more boring than real trucking <laughs> is space trucking. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so because hey, no, it's it not even lot lizards, Trucking right? is the worst, dude. <laughs> Elite Dangerous. Mm. Space trucking at its best. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> you could theoretically play without ever having to kill anyone. Yeah. Be a merchant or a miner or a scrapper. Weird bad exactly. Or there. just a trader in general. <laughs> buying, and, buying, uh, buying low, selling yeah. high. That's what I did for a long time. That was pretty fun. As a trucker or a space man? <laughs> space trucker. <laughs> yeah, I was a trucker. <laughs> Look at my last job. Nice. Broadcasting from the road. <laughs> Game club. <laughs> best games to play while you're driving. <laughs> Yes. All right, I think that's the end of our conversation. So that's part two finished on the topic of the week. Uh, yeah. Look out for our part three video. Uh.